Is Bitcoin really heading towards $20,000? Can it actually drop further? Recent surveys suggest it's a possibility. Hi, Bev here from Finance Homefront. And in this video, I'll break down the survey data and discuss whether Bitcoin at $40,000 to buy back at $20,000 is a smart move. I've got some important information to share. So make sure to watch this video from start to finish. Don't be a confused Karen. Stay informed. Just remember what we're discussing today is not financial advice. It's a wild world out there and decisions should be made carefully. Keep in mind, information is power, but it's your responsibility to handle it wisely. Deutsche Bank recently conducted a massive survey asking people about their Bitcoin expectations. Here's what they found. Around 35% of folks in the US anticipate Bitcoin dropping below $20,000 by year end. In the Eurozone and the UK, it's roughly 30%. Surprisingly, only 10% foresee Bitcoin exceeding $75,000. The gloomy outlook is influenced by events like the 2022 FTX exchange downfall and the collapse of Terra USD. Adding to the uncertainty is the ongoing regulatory squeeze in the US. Now, the big question is who's got it right? Here's the key insight. This could be a tactic to create fear, uncertainty, and doubt, or FUD, in the market. If you can buy Bitcoin back at $20,000 instead of holding it from $40,000 to $80,000, why not? The essential factor here is retail investors. That's you and me. History shows that markets often do the opposite of what retail investors expect. So when everyone is predicting Bitcoin at $20,000, it might just be a sign it's heading much higher. My target? Somewhere between $50,000 and $75,000 by the end of 2024. Don't be swayed by the crowd. Think inverse retail. Let's dive into the world of Bitcoin whales. Those big funds we all know, like BlackRock, Fidelity, Bitwise, ARK Investment, Invesco and Vanek. I want to show you the ETF and how much they're grabbing each day. Starting January 10, BlackRock has been going all in, buying an average of 5,000 or more Bitcoins daily. Fidelity is no slouch either, with around 4,000 to 8,000 Bitcoins per day. Bitwise, ARK Invest, they're all in the game grabbing 1,000 to 5,000 Bitcoins daily. Now you might wonder why Bitcoin's price isn't soaring with all this buying action, while well, some folks are ditching Grayscale because of high fees. But that's short-term noise. Once everyone leaves Grayscale, the real magic begins. Consistent daily purchases. 5,000 Bitcoins here, 5,000 there. It's mind-blowing. What's crazier? In just the first days of the ETF, these purchases outpace the actual mining of Bitcoin. And we're not even in full swing. No FOMO, no retail surge yet. Imagine when institutions catch on. This may look painful now, but it's short-term grayscale selling. The big players are in it for the long haul, and this trend will only grow. So excluding Grayscale, we're talking about 15,000 to 21,000 Bitcoins bought per day. Let that sink in. It's a game changer. Keep your eyes on the real narrative here. Now before we dive deeper into this topic, I'd love to hear from you. Are you finding this discussion on Ethereum and the upcoming PCE data insightful and valuable? If you are, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future updates. Your support means the world to us. Now let's continue with this intriguing market narrative. So let's break it down. I'm all about checking the liquidity when it comes to trading. For Ethereum, there's significant liquidity at $2,000. 
and I've got my eye on it. So what's the plan? Set limit order is at $2,150 and $2,000, and be ready to jump in when the price hits those levels. Position yourself with orders for $112, $120, and $115 ETH, totaling around $250 ETH. If things dip a bit more, add to your position. But I'm not expecting a major drop unless something really bad happens. Now let's talk Bitcoin. Even though we're in a correction phase with a 20% drop from the peak, I'm not sweating it. Look at the history. We've seen this before. Correction pump, correction pump, and so on. The key is understanding the size of these corrections. Using the EMA ribbon as an indicator, typical corrections range from 12 to 13%. If we apply the same logic now, a 13% correction would bring Bitcoin to around $35,000. So the sweet spot for spot accumulation is still around $37,000 to $38,000. I'm not relying on the EMA ribbon anymore. It served its purpose. For futures trading, set a stop at $36,000. If the price drops further, We'll reassess and see what trade makes sense. Always keeping an eye on risk and money management. Now let's focus on Ethereum. It's where the action is for me. Be in the long zone, particularly around $2,150, and we should be eyeing some strong order blocks at $2,000. What makes it more interesting is the potential boost from BlackRock for an Ethereum spot ETF. Forget the fear and uncertainty about Bitcoin hitting $20,000. That would need a major, unforeseen event to unfold. Now, a heads up for what's coming next. Personal consumption expenditures or PCE data. Keep an eye on this because if the numbers come in bad, it could swiftly impact the markets. The PCE is a preferred gauge for inflation by the Fed. And after the recent consumer price index surprise, this is more critical than ever. The previous PCE was 2.6, and the forecast is the same. But the core PCE, possibly more significant, has a forecast of 3.0, compared to the previous 3.2. This data could influence interest rate decisions in upcoming meetings, potentially keeping them higher for longer. If things go south, it might even lead to a negative impact on the economy, possibly heading towards a recession, though that's uncertain. The Bitcoin roller coaster has everyone on the edge of their seats, wondering if it's headed straight for $20,000. Is a crash imminent in the horizon? The suspense is real. Now, if you've been navigating this wild ride with us and found these insights helpful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Finance Homefront for more thrilling updates and hit that notification bell to stay ahead of the crypto curve.